Hello from Eastside Physical Therapy. Today I am at Walmart taking up a little challenge to try and find a supportive shoe for my clients at Walmart. So what is in now in all shoe departments are these really nice light athletic shoes that are super squishy. Everybody likes that squishiness except for your physical therapist. Um, so all the things wrong with this shoe are the heel counter or the heel cup back here squishes. It's not supported. There's nothing built up here to support the foot. And when we go to check the uh, toe box, not only does the toe box fold, but the whole shoe folds back. You do not want your shoe to be able to do that. So that is a running issue here. So again, you can easily push in. This one's not quite as bad as far as pushing in the back of the heel cup. You want that to be able to support your your foot when you when your heel hits the ground. You want some support um, as your body absorbs all the shock of the weight of your body coming through it. But again, here we've got the. Uh, folding of the shoe in half in the middle. Not good. But I did have some luck in the men's shoe section. The men's shoes are not as cute, but we have a shoe that is not bending in half in the middle. Um, it does have some memory foam in here, but the memory foam is kind of one of those advertising things that uh, really it's good for your fingers and it's good the first two times you put your shoe on. But um, after the first week, all the benefits of the memory foam are gone. So here, see, it's nice and squishy for my finger, but that's gonna wear down and be nothing but your footprint in about a week inside the shoe there. So it's not really giving you anything. What would be nice if you had a nice arch support here, people with flat feet and people with high arches all uh, would benefit from some nice arch support. So let's check out the heel counter back here. Or, yeah, the, or the heel cup. Yeah, not really having much support there. That could be better. Um, but, and the heels look pretty straight there. Maybe I'm just holding it crooked a little bit on the left, but yeah, you want them to be uh, parallel with the heel. The, um, and you don't want this to be too cushy here. I can compress this with my thumb. It would be nice if it were better. But really, it's a lot better than what I've been seeing in the women's shoes. All right, here we are looking at different shoe insoles. And I will tell you that all of this gel business really is pretty useless. Um, here, useless, a waste of your money, unfortunately. Now the gel heel cups down here, if you have bone spurs or you have um, plantar fasciitis, this could provide you with some relief, but what would be better would be some physical therapy, stretching of your heel cords, deep tissue massage. It's kind of painful, my apologies, but it definitely makes a difference. Again, these I don't recommend. This we're getting closer to having some sort of benefit, but unfortunately, ah, up here, right idea, but bang, again, nothing. So you think you're gonna get some arch support there, but nothing. Now here, this has got a little bit more support. You really want to find a rigid support for inside your shoe there. Not that you're going to be walking on something super rigid here, but the, the part that's up against your shoe trying to support your foot needs to be rigid. None of that here. coming around the side and again this looks like ooh, we might have it but again super super squishy so 
we did have some good luck finding some shoes that were supportive but not any inserts um these are way 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 too soft so this goes back to the uh oh yeah see how squishy that is under my thumb um and again falls right in and this would of course fold right in half so no midfoot support for that shock when you're walking and running well, this one looks nice. Let's see how it folds. Well, couldn't be much worse. Actually, that's nice and rigid. Nothing's falling away on that one. But again, zero, zero arch support in there. So in synopsis, uh, I can find zero shoes with de decent arch support here, but you can buy a standard shoe that will support your foot if you are a male or if you're a female willing to wear male shoes. There are no inserts that I would recommend here, so I had to pull out one for my shoe. So this is rigid. You can see here this is rigid, hard there, and then it's got the insert. It's very dirty. It's been in my shoe for a long time. And, oops. This uh, brand is Superfeet. Um, can we focus on that there? Yeah, it's my right right foot. But uh, they, I recommend them and any company that does the same type of work with the arch support and is rigid. So now I've come full circle. I'm back in my office. I've returned from my lunch trip. That's for my lunch. And um, here is a review. I uh, printed this off from the Haruska Clinic. Um, I pull a lot of stuff from them. But these are specific brands that are now available in 2018. And uh, I'm sure in 29 they won't be because they change shoe lines every year. And here is a review of the good shoe and the poor shoe like I demonstrated you need to have the strong heel counter that doesn't fold in fold in and see there's a little better focus um, need the shoe to bend at the toe box easily and not in the middle of the shoe and the toe box shouldn't be too stiff no outside heel give. We did find some of that. <clears throat> and heel height should be symmetrical. And here is some more information from the Ruska Clinic. And I will show you another tool that I use. Or I was hoping to find one of these at uh, Walmart, but I did not. Of course you need two. What I do is I put these in my shoes and there's a little bit of a line from the bump here. You can see it in profile. Where it's the highest is where you want it to line the edge of your shoe so that when it goes in your shoe, it's kind of folded up like this up against the side. Um, so that's how it provides even more support, the structure of the shoe. Um, so it's just, you can kind of see where the point is is where the line is in between there. So that becomes the arch of your shoe. And I buy them in bulk from Amazon, or you can buy them from Langer Biomechanics. And six pair is not a bad idea because um, really you want to put a pair in each of your shoes and maybe your partner's shoes or your kid's shoes. So I think this is a really affordable option for foot health, knee health, back health. All right. Hope you learned something and pass the information on.